Little Mix love their bodies, which is brilliant, albeit easier said than done when you're constantly surrounded by ads for glistening Photoshop skin or sponsored Instagrams from Kardashians promoting appetite suppressing lollipops. But in a new interview, Jessie Nelson says she loves her jiggly bum, while Jade talks about coming to terms with her small boobs, saying, I used to really want a boob job because I used to really hate my boobs because I've got like a double A. But now I'm like, F it, I love my boobs. Which again, is pretty great when you consider the intense amount of scrutiny female celebrities are under. Exhibit A, Kaylee Cuoco from The Big Bang Theory was recently trolled for the radical and truly controversial act of having nipples. She posted an Instagram of her working out and instead of focusing on the frankly quite impressive fact that she's doing squats one armed after surgery, people got angry that you could see her nipples through her bra. One asked, where's your bra? Another said, the best breasts are meant to be seen in moderation. Unfortunately, women have had to endure hundreds of years of their boobs being sexualized and objectified, as demonstrated by this creep who commented, her shape is that of a younger woman us older fellows like to reminisce about. <laughs> Kaylee responded by saying, FYI, because of my shoulder, I can only get certain bras over my head. Not that it's anyone's business. But she shouldn't really have to respond because people shouldn't be creeps. The sooner people start accepting women's bodies for all their wobbly, pointy, dimpled, wrinkly glory and stop policing what they should and shouldn't look like, the better. Justin Bieber was asked if Hayley Baldwin is pregnant and he was so pissed. The singer was bombarded with questions from a paparazzo recently as he was filmed walking to a coffee shop and refusing to engage. That is until the pap asks, is Hayley pregnant right now? You guys stated that you were a family so everybody was thinking she might be pregnant. Justin replied, what's your deal bro? You just seem too normal to be doing this job. I just don't understand why you gotta try to get a rise, you know what I'm saying? Let's be honest, you gotta feel for JB following and shouting questions at someone about family life is a complete disrespect of privacy, famous or not. The video ends with the paparazzo apologizing to the singer, adding, I didn't mean to offend you. Ever since the couple announced their engagement, there have been rumors and speculation from all angles. From dragging Selena Gomez and Shawn Mendes as alleged exes into the situation, to the ongoing theory that fans are now talking about that Justin's mum, Patty, might not approve of the engagement. Let me break it down. Justin's mum took her son out of her Twitter bio, deleting the caption, yes, Justin Bieber is my son. Then an eagle eyed fan spotted this tweet on Rush's marriage. Before proposing to a woman they've only known for a few weeks, I think the final guys on The Bachelorette should come and help me scrub my kids' diarrhea out of my living room rug. Just to make sure they're serious about the whole I want a family with you thing. Yep, you guessed it, favorited by Patty herself. None of her actions have gone unseen by fans taken to the Twitter sphere to say, Patty took that yes, Justin Bieber is my son out of her bio and liked this tweet. Um, sis, is everything okay? While others took to their defense to write, not everything she likes is referred to Justin. So can y'all chill out and stop analyzing every little thing. Of course, until Justin's mum says how she really feels, we won't know. But it's worth keeping in mind that sometimes a like doesn't have a bigger meaning and people can change their Twitter bios without it indicating something major. I will play this right yeah. now. I'll play. <laughs> the biggest snake in the villa and that's because I think she sits on the fence all the time. Thanks and babe. goes from kind of like, says one thing to someone and then another thing to someone else. Uh -huh. And people aren't gonna like me for this, but <laughs> Samira, she's, she sits on the fence and she's going back and forth saying different things to different people and we can all see that and I just don't like that. Hashtag we all hate you. Oh, hashtag <laughs> just Hashtag ruined. got hate. No. <laughs> nah. No. Nah. I mean, <laughs> nah. <laughs> hmm. this is not nah. awkward there at was, all. There was a point where you were sitting on the fence. I didn't want to give too much opinions. I know. Because everyone was my friend. Completely and I feel, and I feel you and I did understand that because I have sat on the fence before, but I guess for me, there just came a time when you you gotta like, though no one wants to choose sides and everyone is our friends, you gotta like, gotta do something. I mean, I and did- And that was why I said that. Okay. But, I mean, I did do a lot of things. I was actually yeah. a lot of people's rocks in there. Yeah, you were. Um, and a lot of people came for me like with advice. So I just wanted to let them Deal with their own dramas instead yeah. of getting in there because imagine if I maybe have got into the dramas and spoke to different people about things, then I would look like the snake. And also, why am I going to give an opinion when I don't actually have one to give? Fair play. I'm not going to say something if then, it's not needed to be said. Then I'm sorry. Apology accepted, EL. Thank you.